This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Box Park here in Wembley, head of Sky Sports and Boxers show from Wembley Arena this Saturday night. I'm joined by Mr. Lauren Price. How are you? Yeah, I'm uh, relaxed, but really looking forward to the Saturday night. Can't wait. Okay. Um, hasn't really been a long time coming, obviously. It kind, it feels like it has, and it hasn't. How does it feel to you? Is this a long time coming, your pro debut? Um... I'll be honest with you, yeah, it's felt, it's felt, well, I've been in the gym since January, you know, so yeah, it's, it's felt like a while, but Tokyo's nearly a year, well, I, I think it's a year this week since I qualified, so um, yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, I'm just happy now, you know, to to get sat, to go Saturday, excited. Congratulations. She's, she's shouting at me, she's angry. What does she want? Why? What, why are you starting? Can you give her a light? All right, half hour will be done, Karis. Yeah, her face. <laughs> uh, congratulations on your award uh, recently uh, with the, the boxing writers. Um, yeah, that, that must have been a good thing to get, obviously, before you've even had, obviously, based on your accomplishments in the Olympics. But that must be a good thing to have going into your kind of professional career. Yeah, 100%. Um, great accolade to add to my my collection I suppose but yeah it was great you know to go down and meet some new faces as well and yeah I was looking at the, the you know the booklet and I'm on there with some great great names so a complete honour for me to receive that award. Because of what you've accomplished and kind of how high your profile is going into your pro debut what what kind of pressure is that uh, to deliver not just on Saturday but just in your professional career? Uh, I don't really look at it as pressure, I just look at it as, you know, opportunity for me. For me, winning that Olympic gold medal, it opened doors and changed my life. So, for me, I just, I'm just going to take each opportunity. Um, I don't think you get much, well, any more pressure than walking up to an Olympic final. But, you know, I'm just going to, there's new pressure, like a little bit, like obviously ring walk stuff and, you know, box that egg guard on and stuff like that, it's all new to me. But for me, I'm just going to, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to it more than anything. I uh, just want to enjoy myself. You only get one pro debut. And moving forward, like you said, um, I'm just going to take little step ups each time. People are talking to me about world titles. And yeah, they are going to come and how long, I don't know. I'm just going to listen to Rob, take it, you know, little step ups each time and see how I'm performing and, and go from there. Obviously, before you announced your... Uh decision not to turn pro we knew you were going to do that but where you were going to go there was a lot of speculation about where you were going to go etc um, a bit of a funny question but uh, Ben Shalom was asked recently about whether at the moment Sky are having to uh, overpay fighters in order to get fighters and obviously Sky have got and Boxer have got the, the majority of the, the Olympic squad from, from your time so uh, was that the case was the financial aspect too good to to kind of turn down from boxer? Uh, for me, um, it was a little bit different, but for me, more than anything, it was, you know, the platform. Um, and I don't know, people are saying the sky are overpaying. Uh, I think for our Olympians, I think uh, more than anything, we've earned it, I suppose, because as an amateur, we get absolutely nothing. Um, and we train hard, you know, every week, we're away from home, we live the life. So, yeah, that was kind of um, my opportunity and um, that's where I suppose I earned that gold medal and it changed my life for opportunities like this. So, that's the way I look at it anyway. Okay, that was quite well put, to be fair. But we, we know, kind of, we saw you at kind of the fight camp last year, etc. We know, you, assuming you would have had talks with with Matthew and Eddie Hearn, the zone. So why was it, why was it a case of boxing guy and not Eddie and, and the zone? Yeah, I get on with Eddie, you know. Um, it's, well, it was just been well. Mainly, I spoke to Rob, and it wasn't an easy decision. Obviously, at the start, um, we were negotiating and that, but. Like I said uh, at the press conference earlier, um, Ben was all new to it and for me, after I watched um, the Eubank um, Williams show, for me I just thought, you know, the shows from there just just looked, you know, they, they progressed and looked on and me and Carrie sat down and we thought about the, the platform with Sky and the way I look at it is you could be watching the football on a, on a, on a Saturday afternoon and you know you're just going to switch over in the night um, you might not even be a boxing fan but you know you're on telly on sky sports getting your face out there and that, that's the way i see it 
this could be kind of a, a very uh, peak year for women's boxing. Obviously, we've already seen Taylor and Sor Serrano. We're going to see uh, Shields and Marshall. We may also see, well, we're going to see Michaela Meyer and, and Baumgartner. This is kind of a very, very kind of pivotal year for, for women's boxing. And the fact that, obviously, you're turning professional this year as well. This is a good time, but it's always been over the last two or three years a good time to become a professional uh, in women's boxing. Yeah, 100%. Um, for myself, I'm from Caris. I don't think it was, you know, no better time than, than to turn. Like, you even talk about, obviously, women's boxing going through. You had the likes of, obviously, Sky, um, Boxer and Eddie, obviously, and there was no, there was no, there's no better time, I think, um, for for female boxing. Uh, you speak about the Taylor and Serrano card. That was that, that was a great fight. Uh, I think I'm going to see a great fight in Savannah and, and Marshall as well. So yeah, it's really exciting for for us females coming through and to look up to the likes of them who's, who's been there on the ice stage and and, and done that. And uh, I'm really excited. Do you reckon Karis will jump in for a second? Yeah, she'll jump in. Yeah. You got to jump in on this. Yeah. Oh. She convinced me she weren't going to come in then. Hold on, let me get you both in. Can you stand closer together, please? How are you? No, she was just saying, I was asking Lauren about what she found annoying about you. She said nothing. No, she did. She answered two things annoying. What do you think they were? You're lying. You're lying. She's good. She's good. She's good. She knows her place. She knows her place. <laughs> Did you try and work it at some point that you two would sort of term, like have your professional debuts on the same card or was that talked about or is that not ideal for you guys? Nah, for us obviously like we went through all that with um, the Olympics and the qualifiers and it's not a very nice position to be in because if I'm on first, you know, I, I'm kind of, well, we just worry about one another and too different, much nerves, too much nerves and stuff like that. So, and for me, I, I think it's nice for us to have our nights individually, but to support one another as well. So that was, that was the, the main thing, wasn't it? Yeah, so I can be ringside shouting at her and vice versa. So. To be fair though, apart from us watching, it makes no sense for you girls to do that, is it? It makes sense for you to be on separate nights when you're turning pro, surely? Yeah, 100%. Like I said, uh, we can have our own night then as well and be there for one another and support one another. Obviously, like even in fight week, she's done little things for me this week, you know, so I don't have to deal with it on, on my phone and, and stuff like that. She's just taking the pressure off me and I'll do the same for her. Get too competitive as well. If she knocks somebody out before I do, I'm not going to like that. I'm going to want to try and beat it, so... <laughs> She's the feisty one, you can tell. Who, who's the most aggressive one out of the ring, out of the two of you? This one, I'm just laid back. <laughs> I just say yes and just uh, goes in through one year up for the other. No, I'm quite chill. They've got a little bit of a temper, but I'm quite chill. She, she's too laid back. Too we just laid bounce back. off one another. Though. I think it works, you know, she's a fiery one, I'm laid back, so, you know, happy medium. Yeah, she cools me down a bit, calms me down, and i got to try and like get her to be a bit fiery, though, know, because she's just like a yes man. She just says yes to everything. Like all these interviews, you know, angry. I'm trying to drag her away to get some food, and she's like, yeah, I'll do that interview, I'll do this, I'll do that. Oh, didn't you really want to do this interview, uh, Lauren? No. Well, no, I would have done it, but <laughs> i got this one giving me daggers in. So it's you like... were, to be honest with you, I was about to not do the interview because I saw the way you were looking at, not just yeah. her, but me, thinking, I read the fuck up. <laughs> Nah, it's just my face. It's just my face. I'm happy on the inside. That's all yeah, I'm To be asking. fair though, when I've seen you kind of obviously, I haven't seen you in a fight week yet, but when I've seen you out of a fight week, you do look quite fucking moody, to be fair. I mean it in a night way, nice not, way. Nah, you're not the only one that says it. Everyone thinks they've got a proper bad resting bitch face. And it's like when she was on that then on the press conference, she looked proper moody. So I'm trying to like get her attention and give her a smile to tell her like smile because you yeah, look moody as anything. Yeah, but what am I smiling at? I'm just smiling so Just proud. smiling, you're happy it's to be It's the same like when, when you're watching boxing. We've got people tweeting saying, oh, them two girls... Oh, one second, out. let me just move this out of the way. So, sorry. So, you just tell people what's going on. Oh. It's a uh, woman with a... There's a lady uh, just pushing a baby out the way because obviously you're in the way as usual, so... But I'm moving my... Moving my tripod. Right, okay. Yeah, you've done the right thing. Right, okay. You've done the right thing. Um, go on, carry on. Yeah, so, um, even when we sat ringside watching the boxing, we've had a few, like, I suppose, well, we don't look anything into it, but people say we're moody, this, that, and the other. But, like, what do they want us to do? Sit there and just smile for the, the, for the four hours? We're three o'clock till about... 10 o'clock at night and you want us to sit there with a beaming smile from then till the end of the night. I know we got nice teeth like, but come on now. <laughs>
Oh, well, you look happy enough now, so maybe we should just cut it now, end it now. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Well, listen, best of luck. Obviously, we'll grab a word for you after your fight on Saturday. You will worry about you after Saturday, if that's all right. Will you be a nervous wreck, though, watching her? I know the work she's put in in the gym. I've done a few rounds with her myself. I know she'll be firing on all cylinders, so you'll all be happy with what you see on Saturday night. I'll be nervous when she makes the ring walk, I think, but once that first bell goes out, I'll be happy. Scared of my dance moves. She's dancing on. One thing I will say is, as your career goes on, there's no way you two won't be on the same card. Definitely not. You two are definitely going to fight on a card together at some point. Surely. If they're going to pay us more money to do it, then who knows? But, nah, probably not. No, probably not. It's only going to get bigger, in it? Like, if we're going to be in, you know, more rounds or world title fights, I don't want to... The more wanna, important the fight yeah. is, the more the nerves are going to be, so probably not. If it's not going to happen now, it's not going to happen further down the line. Interesting. Well, Lauren, thank you very much. Harris, hi. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> listen, we'll grab a word of you and we'll grab a word of you as well. It'll be interesting to see your thoughts as well after uh, Lauren's win. I'm not even allowed to say that, really. After Lauren's performance on Saturday. Sound. Yeah, look forward to it. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.